All right, leads. You're up. Hi, guys. Welcome to Lever X. I hope everyone's having a good day. I know I am. And we are back with a uh, double serving uh, pudding. I mean, the Who uh, for our Who Wednesday. If you're watching Day of Premiere, uh, we just did uh, Music Must Change off of whatever album that was. And we're going to be listening to My Generation uh, from Live at Leeds. We did My Generation from Woodstock and Monterey last week. And uh, we had a request come in from our Alpha patron, Joel, for the Live at Leeds version as well, which is uh, 14 minutes long, it looks like. 14 and a half minutes long. Um, very excited, because I think we did, what, Magic School Bus from this as well? Is that what it was called? Or what was it? Just Magic Bus. There we go. We did that one. I think that's the only thing from this album we've done. Maybe there's one other thing. I can't remember. But I will note that this is it was recorded on February 14th, 1970, so basically 1969. <laughs> um, and is the only live album that was released while the group was still actively recording and performing with their best known lineup of Roger, Pete, John, and Keith. And it was released on May 11th, 1970, so like three months later it came out. That's crazy. Cool. Let's go. If y'all are not subscribed, please help a brother out. Click that icon right below my face. I'd really appreciate it. It takes like two seconds. It's absolutely free. And uh, it really helps channel up. We do uh, a Who track every Wednesday. Who Wednesday. Uh, usually 10 a.m. Or in this case, 10.30 a.m. as well. So Eastern Standard Time. Come hang out in the chat. We'd love to have you. All right, enough yapping. My Generation Live at Leeds by The Who. Three, two, one, go. <clears throat> See if this is the definitive version. John and Pete show, man. Good lord. Keith's doing his thing too, though. So.
<laughs> God damn, John. He's going crazy. <laughs> Whoa. These guys are so fucking good, dude. I like electricity, bro. I swear to God. Pure energy. Especially live. That's wild. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Oh, hell yeah. Nineteen seventy, man. Wow. Playing this, dude. Damn, and John. Oh my god. Can you feel me? Dude, I love how they do that. Like they slow back down for a minute and then they pick back up. like heaven dude just rock and roll heaven what else could you want the crowd's just like <laughs>
God damn, John. Wow. Good job. That was fucking fantastic. That's crazy how much the song grew within, I don't know, how many years or how many months this was after Woodstock. Maybe it's like, I forgot what year y'all said Woodstock was, but this was definitely like a little bit longer ahead than like Monterey. And I think Monterey was 67. So probably Woodstock was around that time. Uh, so this is a couple years later. Um, they definitely added a lot to the song. You could feel like that's they they definitely doubled the length, you know. Um they added a lot more in there. I love the just like the roller coaster ride you go on. It's like tons of rising, falling, going in circles, rising and falling. Wow, man. Literally everybody shined there so much. But uh, like Keith had his moments of just pure like lightning in a bottle, basically. Just it's just those fills. Like I said, they're so fast. They're inhuman at points. Like it he doesn't have a fucking hi hat and he's just fucking going crazy back there. Like what the fuck, dude? Um, there was a few parts in this that I was just astounded at what I was hearing from him. Like, good God. Um, but honestly, John and Pete stole the show for me for this one. I mean, their tandem, uh, riffs in this were just insane. And John got his solos. Pete got his solos. I mean, like, it's just those riffs that he came up with are just so infectious. It's, they're just groovy as hell and they're just catchy. And that's like that shit that gets stuck in your head like it's a like gum and you just never get rid of it for the rest of your life. Like that riff will just be <laughs> those riffs, not just riff. That's going to be just stuck in my head for the rest of my life now probably. Like the the beginning part was like the usual what we listened to last time, the My Generation. But then the last like 10 minutes of it was just completely something different basically. Uh, and I loved every second of it. Like I said, that was like rock and roll heaven basically. I don't know what else you could want. You got thunderous drums that are just fucking primal. Uh, you've got these riffs that are just, like I said, infectious and they'll just stay stuck in your head. The bass is going right along with the guitar. It's almost, almost better, honestly, at points because John is just going crazy. And then you've got Roger doing the vocals whenever they do show up, you know? Um, but this was a better instrumental definitely than the other two, than Woodstock and Monterey. Uh, this definitely is the, the, from the three versions. This is my favorite version, definitely. And that's, that's really cool to see how it grew over those couple years, you know, from that, you know, I know their performance is limited, you know, probably at Woodstock too. I don't know if it, that's why it was shorter or what, but they definitely added a lot to it and it was fantastic. Every single second of it, that really was worth it. Uh, thank you, Joel, for picking that out. Um, let me see if there's anything special about the, let's see. Oh my God, there's so many different versions of this album. Jesus Christ. Um, no, Roger played the harmonica. There you go. That's the only thing that's different than that's what he usually does anyway. So, um, yeah, there's nothing different. The personnel, uh, honestly, yeah, like I said, John and Pete, definitely the MVPs of this for me. But Keith comes in a very, very close second with the just insane drum work here. I mean, that is like a dream come true as a drummer right there. That shit he was pulling off out there. And like I said, they're mostly known for their live stuff anyway. Like that's where I think the true magic lies with them. I know the studios are great too, but just to even hear them live, like it's even better. Like I don't even need a visual. I don't need video. Just hearing it live, like there's just electricity in the air. It's like they bring this energy with them that's just unparalleled by anything else. <laughs> I don't know, man. At least at that time period, they're just a juggernaut on, like on stage. They, I wish I could have seen them live because um, it seems like this concert was pretty, you know, uh, they, they didn't, you know, it's, I'm just used to different concert or there's just noise like throughout people are rude. Uh, back then people had, you know, manners and they just wanted to hear the music. They weren't there to talk and take pictures and shit like that. You know, now nowadays it shows, um, they just sat there and listened and then they clapped when it was over. It's a fucking miracle nowadays. You know what I'm saying if that ever happens. So, I mean, wow. I don't even know what else to say. That was 
That was really, really good. <laughs> uh, I've listened to a couple songs so far tonight that were really, really good. And this might be my favorite. And I've already heard it twice now. And this is like an extended version of it. And wow, did that just steal my fucking night? That was great. Damn. This band is so good. I'm so glad we found them. <laughs> um, yeah, thank you for that, uh, Joel. Definitely really good. If y'all didn't know, we have a Patreon right here. That is a picture of it. There's a link in the description. Uh, go check it out. If you join the $15 tier or up, you get to one free request a month. Only one. Uh, but if you join other tiers, you get you know more requests, albums, whatever you want to do. If you want access to all the behind-the-scenes content, all the block videos, and all the hours and hours of bonus content on there, we got almost four full Beatles albums, a ton of King Crimson tracks, Frank Zappa, a couple Jethro Tull albums that are blocked, um, all kinds of stuff. And we'd love to have you. We have, I think, almost 400 folks in our community now. Uh, we have a Discord server any uh level gets ac uh, access to that you want to come chat with us um we have a good time and come hang out at the premiere uh, at the premieres in the morning especially for the who uh, we do them uh 10 a.m or 10 30 a.m eastern standard time on wednesdays and then every day <laughs> um usually 10 a.m to 11 30 a.m or 12 p.m eastern standard time i do a live premiere for all these songs in a row it's like a radio show in the morning just very long commercial breaks like 15 minutes sometimes, or three, you know, depends on how long the video is. But we'd love to have you. Come hang out with us. And uh, there's also a PayPal link in the description for tips, requests, and anything else. Boy, could really use it. Thank you for watching, guys. I uh, really appreciate y'all. Take it easy. Another successful Who Wednesday. I'm out of here.